set here. They've gone on pretty quick here. So set to go 12, round it comes. Von Trapp short off the inside. Already set. And racing, Von Trapp gets away fairly, bit of early speed, middle of the pack here, fantastic over inside, there we go to Von Trapp trying to kick round the outside of runners there was Idle G, just gets a check at that stage in front of him, Tumbalay further back in transit, there we go to formation, no more dead, and dropping towards the tail of the field there would have been Moringa Star, but up they come, fantastic over Von Trapp. Then we get back there now to Tumbalay, that's been followed back in the transit there by formation, further back still, little Kiwi, no more debt, Moringa Star and uh, number eight Idle G has gone amiss comes in at the tail of the field up uh, after being up with the early running the nine and off the ballot here fantastic over go he's having a nice day at the office uh, nine the one the four and the six here 18 and 68 uh, two and three quarters by three and three quarters uh, those official margins here 453 first section and the post was a 14 15 here they are from the start Fave. Uh, Von Trapp gets away right, wants to run it a little wide, but the nine just goes bang straight across. Fantastic Ava. And as she finds the lead there, you see the eight to try and get across here and just breaks down going into that first bend. Uh, the air in the one slips underneath there, but the nine, she's been too strong. Uh, fantastic Ava, a uh, black magic opal, fantastic barb uh, for the Schofield Kennels. Von Trapp, the Crakes, Elite State Reba Caroa, and the Blue Rug Tumbalaya, the Hall Ferguson boys. Uh, where's Pedro from? Uh, Shaker is the third one in about eight, I think, at the close of their four fantastic Ava. Right, we roll to race number 13. We wrap it all up for the last of the day at uh, 3.42. We'll return for that in. Thanks, Peter. 9, 1 and 4 across the line at uh, Monaco in the 12th. Leg one of the double there, 9 winning it. That was uh, fantastic Ava. Tohara Nikau now for race 6, meeting code for the PGG Wrights and... Rating 65 over the 1,400 metres, just under the six and a half out from start time. The number three, high quality, is on top. And uh, Bevan, as we say, a very good afternoon to you. High quality, uh, fresh up and has placed previously fresh. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Link. Yeah, look, he's a nice horse, uh, high quality. There'll be a watch on him today. This, this track's just racing a little bit off. Uh, clearly, and they're getting out to the centre track. And now, there's the 12. Oh, I quite like this horse, Falcon Reach, uh, today. 12 into 9 on the tote. 7, Durham. He's a horse with ability, but physically, I think, he'll improve through the run. Judith Kate uh, for Henry Killies. Daryl Bradley riding, not Dylan Turner. He is uh, not able to make the weight. There's the three high, high quality. He's a nice horse. There's no doubt about that. As is the Saar, the 5 in the book, uh, who's been going some nice races. He was good enough to win on a premier day at Rickenden as a younger horse. And he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. He needs everything to go 100% his way. He's got a hate intensity board today. I think that may be some sort of assist to him. He just like that kind uh, riding. Uh, high quality though. Jeff Haig does the, the training on the four-year-old by Hensum Ransom. And look, he made an impression last time, but you're careful with him and put him out. Yeah, well, he's a big immature fellow, Bevan. Like he's, even still, he still needs to sort of furnish a lot more. But he's got plenty of ability. Today, your thoughts? Uh, how forward is he? Well, he's had two jump outs and a trial, so he's reasonably well forward. We've got uh, the side winkers going on, is it right? Side winkers, yep, just to make him focus a bit more. Okay, where does he posse up in the run? Because uh, look, there were wet tracks last time, and this is a bit better. He should be three back, one out. <laughs> Simple as that. The other instructions. Horse that will go through the grades uh, in your mind? I would think so. Yeah, he's second dams are half to Doremus. So he should actually, when he gets over fair, this is probably, if anything, a shade short for him. Okay. Um, but once he gets over ground, he'll be right. Okay, best of luck. No worries, thanks. Here's Jeff. He's a nice horse. He's at 4 80 and $2.60. Four and a half minutes uh, out from a start time. Look, I went with him. He was very good at our opinion. Yes, it was on a, a wet track. Uh, he beat home to lose that day now. There's a big flashing red light on Toulouse uh, in the previous. He got home very strongly uh, in the last race. He's beaten by Falcon's Reach uh, on debut. And Falcon Reach runs in this race at 8.50 and 2.10. His trial, it was just a quiet little trial. Sam O'Malley rode him on that occasion and he was OK in the centre of the track, just in behind uh, runners. He was running on nicely enough, so he's a bit of an improvement in him, but... I still think he's got a bit of quality about him, so I went with him on top. The seven, Durham. I'll be interested to get uh, Tony Sorts uh, on the seven. He looked to me as though he will take improvement out of this uh, race, but he was a winner uh, on debut. That run uh, came out to Wanganui, and then just a couple of fair runs. He didn't have all favours in both of those runs at uh, Waverley. 
uh, sorry, at Woodville. Uh, the trial was a nice quiet effort and behind Slimline uh, at uh, Foxen on the 14th uh, of March. He's got a good draw in top hoop, lesser all press in the saddle. I thought he was a chance in the race. Then we had uh, Falcons reach. Uh, I liked his each way price earlier. He's now into closer to eight and two dollars and ten cents, seven fifty uh, final field. I thought he was a player in the race, and yeah, there's uh, he's there or thereabouts uh, as well. There's others speaking in this market as well. It's quite an even field. Granite Ridge uh, second up uh, this preparation. Look, here's a Quinn man at eighteen dollars. Look at his ducky form line, but look at times he's run races. Just hasn't been figuring of late. But Shane Brown's team is firing up. Uh, over the last month and a half or so, 18 and 420 about uh, him. Certainly a, a race with a, a fair few chances, and okay, I stuck with the high quality over the seven. I put in the 12, I can reach at eight, and uh, the uh, he's short enough at 550 and a dollar and 60 cents. Does certainly have the ability. This off track might actually suit him uh, down to the ground at the SAR, but he's a bit of a thinker. Got a top hoop on him today, and Hayden Tinsley. They just get him to settle down and put the head down uh, and get right to the line. 3, 7, 12 and 5. Two and a half out from start time. Let's head up Steers to uh, Tony Lee. $4 is your favourite here in high quality. Looks uh, close enough to the mark for mine as well here. Bev in high quality, ready to run a race today. Uh, good to hear Jeffrey um, saying exactly where that horse will be. In the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah. Clear their plans change very quickly in this game. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> But uh, look, he's slightly raced and promising, as you said, and the horse, to my eye anyway, uh, looks ready to run a race. I thought the four looked terrific here, Granite Ridge at six and two, and the seven, Durham as well. I think I uh, wouldn't be surprised. Have a look at the four. Here it is uh, here, Granite Ridge, Holly Andrew. I thought that horse presented well enough to uh, be given a chance just on the look side of it. And then, yes, Durham number seven. I thought near enough, uh, Bevan, for mine. Uh, it's got the inside draw, one run back, and... It should be uh, ready to do something. And for those that are a little bit uh, longer, uh, number one, Caleb. Mm. I thought uh, looked very nice. Yeah, he's a horse who you'd probably just be off today at the 1,400 metres. But look, early on in his preparation, the first prep, he was running some races around that 1,400 metres and mile. He went up over a staying trip uh, at the end of last uh, campaign. But uh, look... Just can't knock Sylvia's training abilities. See, I hope Alicia's got those instructions written on her hand. Three back, one off. Uh, the key, uh, full high quality, the four yard by Henson Ransom, and does have Doremus in the pedigree page as well. So he'll probably step up over more ground as well. Jeff just saying maybe just a click short of his best, but I think he's a fair horse. He's at four and one seventy. He's into three dollars and eighty cents. He was three fifty early. He's out to four, back to three eighty. Uh, the five, the Tsar, 480 to 550. The four, Granite Ridge, 480 to 550. Seven, Durham, five to six. And the 12 in the book, which is uh, Falcon's Reach, uh, was opened at seven. He's up to 750. And Caleb is the mover here. 950 into 750. He's just under that $10 mark on the tote. This is the PGG Rights in 65. The call with Tea Lee. Way to go, Bevan. Thank you. As we have Mr. Ring coming up into the gates, here's Star Emerald to uh, load up as well. High quality at 4 and 170. Bizarre 580 and 2. Granite Ridge 6 and 210. Competitive market. We've had one spike. So pull that out, eh? Pull that one out. Now, Star Emerald to come in. Gary Phillips just issuing some instructions there. Sounds like one's going to come out of the barrier momentarily. High quality, the favourite behind the line. Just pull it out, eh? Just pull it out, Mark. Just pull it out. One! Which one do you think? Blue. All right. Yeah, but it's going to get thing. No, we're going to wait for other bugger to get that back. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got Cassie Quinman. That bar right up the top there, Bill. You right there, Robbie. Is that bar running up right up there? Coming around from the other side of the store. Yeah. I don't know where it's been. Let's have a drink of water and a look to around. I'll oh, push no, through the bars are right man. Top, All right, we'll thank you for that information. Yep. Right yep. So Star yeah. Emerald. Yep, just, I don't know where it is. Yep. To come in. Kessie Quinman, the vet might have to run the ruler over right. that to right break right through. Gary. And high yeah, quality behind the, the line. Yeah, the vet's coming down. Just wants to check it, just make sure there's no... Like so those three horses out, one of them to be uh, looked at by the vet, number nine. Yeah, just quickly. Cassie Quinn, man. I don't, it doesn't seem to be anything there, but just better check it. Seems unperturbed. 
Uh, the goings on, the rest of them uh, stand up on, well. Grab it, hey? Caleb Granard Ridge, Judith Cater's in, Mr. Rink, yeah. the Tsar. Right, Someone grab Durham it, otherwise on it the inside. Up. And... Yep, we'll have Colin under five. It's OK. Yeah, start to stop you through. It's number nine, clear to start. Looks as though, yep, uh, yes, we've got the clear to start yep. for the nine, Cassie Quinn man. So high-quality favourite coming up. Star yep. Emerald and Cassie Quinn man to come in. Yep. 4.30, yep. the Tsar's gone favourite late. And Colin and... High quality to 470. Ten. Granite Ridge 570. One to come right. Is he right Durham, there, Lee? 640. Falcons reach out at eight dollars. So Star Emerald. Last one coming up. Completes the whoa, line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're ready now. We're right. Right. 1,400 Gates. metres and away to go. They're off and running. Fair line out of the gates as well. Judith Kate's going to go back. Star Emerald's going to go back. And Caleb's going to go back as well. Durham off the inside began pretty quickly. Granite Ridge going up to have a look at it. And Cassa Quinman's going up to have a look at the two. Then we have Falcons Reach. Mr. Rink, the grey between runners and the czar inside of those. A little more than a length of high quality. Is that where you wanted it, Jeff? A length and a half then to Caleb. They're followed through then by Judith uh, Kate and last of all is Star Emerald as they work off the back of the track at the 850 metres and here Granite Ridge in front a half length, Cassa Quinman is second and Durham is sweet seating third inside of Falcon's Reach and Mr Rink's looking to go forward the Tsar behind those high qualities off and around them now, Caleb's looking to get to the outside of that, two lengths further away, Judith Kate at the 600 and Star Emerald in the purple the outside of that, they run up towards the home corner here and Granite Ridge, Falcon's Reach having a shot at it, Cassie Quinman's posted. Durham in behind these runners. The Tsar's looking to get clear air as they swing and go and high quality back in behind those. Falcons reaches the leader. From Granite Ridge over on the inside, who's having another dig at it. A couple of lengths then. We've got the Tsar starting to run on. Durham closer to the inside. High quality's the widest runner. It is Falcons reach in front. Granite Ridge on the inside trying to come back at it and then the Tsar's arriving the last little bit but Falcons reach will win. Second over, Granite Ridge and then the Zaha high quality behind them Durham the next time has been Star Emerald followed by Caleb and Mr Rink, uh, Cassa Quinman and Judith Kate another to road to rock today with 12 Falcons Reach and Navish Tilak holding on for the good win Granite Ridge tried hard the inside. The Tsar out wide getting home strongly in high quality is the widest runner in the red, white and blue. So they wanted to get out now well and truly, but uh, they couldn't get Falcon's reach for Roger Allen up the road at Opaki and Navish Tilak. Good brave win. I look beautifully ridden this one by Navish. He's presented. He's had to be tough. He's got the job done. Four, Granite Ridge second. Five, the Tsar third. Three, high quality fourth. Seven, Durham fifth. And six, Star Emerald sixth. 12, 4, 5, 3, 7, 6, 1, 25, 0, 9 the time. Had previously won at uh, the course there, the number 12, Falcons Reach. Uh, hadn't shown a whole lot in its past two runs, but was coming off the back of a uh, freshen up. Hadn't raced since the 6th of February, and uh, those fresh legs gets home nicely in the 1,400 metre. Race 6 from Tohara Nikau, Navish Tilak, doing uh, the riding for trainer Roger Allen. That was Tohara Nikau, race 6, numbers 12, 4 and 5 across the line. Falcons Reach takes out race 6. Just under three minutes out uh, till the Monaco Greyhounds race 13 on the card from Monaco on the meeting code of three. Where your favourite is the number one. $2, 350 220 taking advantage of the inside draw here, the one Opawa Poppy. Quick result from Tohara Nikau, Falcons Reach, 810 260 Granite Ridge, $2, the Tsar, 190 and third, 2090 Quinella, Trifecta, 216 70 first four, 737 80 There was a double as well at the bottom, 2 and 12, 25 80 concession, 2 and 4, 620 Let's head swiftly off to uh, Peter Early and uh, Peter we've got another favourite uh, coming from the inside here and it uh, looks like you've put it on top. Look, this is a hell of a hard race to sort out, that's for sure. The last of the day, I didn't know where to go. The, the dog's got no form. 
um, has Opawa Poppy, but um, the thing is whether she drops a grade uh, there and comes off the inside. So, yeah, I don't know where to look in this one. I did put her on top. I put Spearman Juju in for the UD Cotton team. It's got some early speed, so might just get across uh, from the seven box. That's around about nine fifty and the dollar or dollar sixty or something. Uh, their last start there was very, very good. Uh, the five uh, being Kawai, the uh, Craig runner. Uh, there and it's the last few runs have been all right. Has one here in an 18 and 78. Just had the two looks here uh, for the victory going back, um, what's that, five starts ago. Uh, there was a good effort too. And the four red rascal uh, for Ron and Naomi. Uh, red rascal. Form says no, but it's it's one four here, 18 and 66. And there's a little bit of value too again, isn't it? 13s and three dollars and eighty cents. Gee, it's one of those races. Um, with Opawa Pop, I didn't think it'd be that short, but it's a very short book price at two dollars and twenty cents. And they're at four. Opawa Poppy in this the last of the day. I think it was even shorter this morning. Uh, the Opawa Poppy um, was, it, uh, it was about a dollar eighty uh, this morning when I had a look. So it's gone out to two dollars and twenty cents. But it's one of those races to wrap us up here. A tough old affair. One seven five and four. Scott Amoto comes off box number three. Improved run for second last time out. Astra uh, just above that off the two box. It's won plenty here in the past. Two minute a big one at Cambridge. Two back. I missed out next time out. And and he does show a bit of speed at times. Some stainless knocker off the outside, one off the wide draw uh, has stainless knocker. We'll see what happens. We're on start time here for the last of the day to wrap it all up. The Jack's Wholesale meets over the 318 metres. Opawa Poppy, the black and steel runner, will start the favourite for James and Leash. Comes off for box number one. We'll go up with uh, Scott and Motor, Car White, Spearman Juju. Next line to be called up, Aster Red Rascal, two Manita Stainless Knocker comes off the outside. So it's second line locking away now. Jack's wholesale meets. Jack Nash. Nash Jack. Nash Jack. Let's get it right, Peter. Here we go. Race 13. Away we go, Opawa Poppy, nice slow, Scott of Motor, Opawa Poppy to the lead here now from Carway and beside runners, there we go to a Scott, uh, that the next runner is Asta, followed round there by a Red Rascal, inside of a Red Rascal, Asta, they're trotted towards the tail of the field there now by Spearman, Juju, Scott of Motor, out wide, Carway might find the lead, it does, Carway, Opawa Poppy, stainless knocker, back we go to Red Rascal, that's been followed back there now by two Maneta, Asta, towards the tail of the field, Spearman, Juju, Scott of Motor. Go away home for Craig. Uh, gives him a couple for the day in an 18 and 87. Uh, there, five over the one. Running 14 and 25. Then we go the eight and the four uh, there, but to number five. Uh, done it nicely in the end. Uh, there, where were you? 630 and 180 or thereabouts, just looking at my board. Uh, gets away off uh, the the top and balances up. And he goes to the line strongly, doesn't he? Uh, start at number seven today and win number two, Paddy Flynn from Harajuku Baby. 462, that to first section, in and 14 and 25. Look, a favourite jump, well, Opawa Poppy. No real excuse for you, uh, my dear. But up on the outside there is Carway, just, uh, uh, just parked on the outside and it's just been too strong. Uh, in the run to the post uh, there. So uh, five over the one, uh, the eight's got.